there were senior, very well-known engineers at the time who said, you cannot make steam drive a rotating engine. Um, Bolton didn't agree with that, and he needed, he knew that not only he, but other manufacturers who we worked with needed a rotating engine. So he brought Watt back, you know, oversimplified, but more or less stuck him in the back of a room, was actually in Watt's house, and all Watt did was make drawings for four years. And those were actually the four most inventive years of his career. And he makes four key inventions um, that are absolutely essential to making a steam engine practical. Actually, I, I think they're all on this brass model back here. So first he makes the sun and planet gear um, that enables the reciprocating motion to be turned into the rotating motion. Today we would just call this a crank. In fact, it was really a patent issue that made Watt not use a simple crank. The other key invention was the double acting steam, where the steam is both pushing the piston in both directions, whereas earlier it only pushed it in one direction and the atmosphere would push it down. And to do that, you needed this very high precision valve gear. Then you're, you need the, the beam to not only push but also pull, but the beam has a circular motion and you need this piston to move very straight up and down. And Watt invents this beautiful parallel motion the way he coordinated all the pieces that um, rigidly couple the rotating motion into this mechanical motion. The last one, my favorite, because I've, I've written a book about this, is the, the, the flyball governor. And this is a crucial invention because it regulates the engine. Um, in a sense, it turns the steam engine into a giant clock. It, give, it makes it into a precision instrument. If you add load to the drive output, it doesn't change the speed. If the steam pressure varies a little bit, it all stays constant. That's crucial if you want to do something like drive a textile factory, because if it's varying up and down a lot, you break all the threads. So the flyball governor, which becomes a kind of icon of mechanical motion during the Industrial Revolution, um, is, is a great invention. And a lot of people see it as the first industrial feedback device, kind of predecessor of modern cybernetics and control systems.